Well, the first day of kindergarten is a very big deal, and that big deal got even bigger recently for a five-year-old from Minnetonka when she got escorted by the state patrol to her first day of classes. So how does that come about? Well, as Boyd Hooper uh, reports, you have to go back to a day when she was just six weeks old on the side of a busy stretch of interstate. <laughs> when you're Elise Lonsbury, every day. <laughs> is a happy day. There's just this constant energy. She's goofball. Stinky feet. But just wait <laughs> for tomorrow. <laughs> First day of kindergarten. Show her. And Elise has been planning what to bring. Can you see your face? Green jumpsuit, sparkly shoes. I packed it. Carrot backpack. That's good. And one thing more. Her most prized possession. I gave it to me. Paul gave it to her. Perfect. But who's Paul? It's one of those things that I'll never forget about. Lieutenant Paul Stricker yep. of the Minnesota State Patrol. I'll always remember that one stretch of grass on 394 is the day that I got to meet Elise. That stretch of grass is where Paul spotted first a parked car, then a pink outfit worn by a six-week-old baby. We were on the side of the road in the weeds. She was unconscious. I could not get her to wake up. Dad, John Lonsbury, was at work. I was like looking right at her. I was like, come on, come on. Mom, Kristen, yeah. needed an angel. I had thought in that moment, my child was dying. She got two. Virginia Marsh, a nurse on her way to work, and Paul, who just happened to be driving by, worked together roadside to keep Elise alive until the ambulance arrived. They're heroes, yeah, they are. The virus that had stopped Elisa's breathing kept her in the hospital for five days after her heroes kept her alive to live the rest of her life. Something touched all of us that day that made our paths cross for the right reasons. And it was a blessing. Elise, while you are too young to understand. This is the letter Paul sent Elise one year later. I will always be here for you as your guardian. And this is the charm Paul had made to replicate his badge. Special badge. It's our first day of kindergarten. So along with her green jumpsuit and sparkly shoes. It's your first day. Elise accessorized. The badge. Accessorized with her badge. How are you? Oh, good to see you. And the man behind it. You ready? And she's very excited. Have you met any of your classmates yet? Elise's mom first mentioned this in jest, as in, wouldn't it be cool? All right. To which Paul responded, wouldn't it be right? Five years ago, I would have never guessed <laughs> that we'd be doing this. To have Paul here is really special for her. I hope she never forgets the moment. Feliz primer día. Estás feliz de tu primer día? A teacher to meet, ¿Sí? a new language to learn. You did it. And high fives <laughs> and hugs all around for her family. You have a fun time at school, okay? Mm -hmm. When you're Elise Lonsbury, family <laughs> is just a bigger Good luck. troop. You have a great first day of school, okay? Mm. To see her as happy as she is today, it's, uh, it's pretty special. Mm. Boyd Hooper, Carol 11 News, oh. Deep Haven. <laughs> <laughs> Elisa's mom also invited Virginia Marsh, Elisa's other rescuer, to escort her to kindergarten. The dedicated nurse had to pass. She was scheduled to work. Oh, boy. I love it. Mm. Oh, yeah, they're totally right. Those kind of things don't just happen. Those are really special moments that mm -hmm. obviously, yep. I mean, I right believe. Place, right yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Him. Great story. My goodness. Fabulous. And good luck, Elise. I know. It's I think all she's, just starting. I think she's going to do really well. <laughs> she has a great attitude.